What's up beautiful people of the internet? We're back with a quick review today. Sorry guys, I've been doing these long ones because I've liked the books that I was reviewing. Um, but I realized probably no one has watched it in the whole world, which is fine. Actually, I did get one person watch it and they, uh, they left a comment. So start commenting on my shit, motherfuckers! I'm just kidding. I'm not begging. I'm not begging. Um, guys, we are doing these book reviews on the brain. I read a whole bunch of books on the brain and what it means for you, how it can help you, um, takeaways from these books, recommendations to, on books to read for yourself. Um, we are, this is the third of four books. Okay, guys, these are the four books. I'll leave them in the description so you can check that out, which ones to get. Um, I already told you guys that The Brain That Changes Itself, this is my favorite book. Um, if you were going to get any of the books, I would get that, followed by the user manual for brain. But um, today, we are going to talk about... What is it? What's that meal? Calamari. We're going to talk about calamari, people. This book is about calamari. That's right. That's fucking right. Um, no. So this book is actually about the origins of intelligence and consciousness in other species and kind of looking at the timeline of how we went from evolutionary from evolutionarily from um, just these little uh, single cell forms in the ocean to where we are now and contrasting that to those single cell forms and how they changed into cephalopods cephalopods which is uh, squids and octopus octopi octopuses I don't know the plural for that shit. Let me know what the plural is. I'm not going to Google it. Anyways, guys. So it's an interesting book. I have to read it again because a lot of it kind of went over my head. Um, because it's not that interesting, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't really, like relate to this book too well. Um, it parallels the consciousness of cep cep cephalopods, cephalopods to humans. Um, how they become self-aware and intelligent and how we've become self-aware and intelligent and conscious and where consci consciousness comes from and how it's ch or evolved through different species. So the premise of the book is very cool. Um, maybe I was just not like, like in a present state of mind when I was reading it, which is very possible because when you read a lot of books, actually, you're not really reading some of them. I think that's one of the drawbacks of like reading so much is sometimes you just read for the sake of reading and not read for the sake of understanding. Um, but again, I'll make a video on uh, reading so much and good stuff, bad stuff. Um, yeah, I can't comment too much on this book, guys. You have to kind of read it to, to understand. It's, it's very philosophical, a bit scientific. Um, but there are some takeaways for you guys for, uh, from this book. Um, some things that when you read this, you, will, um, you can use to improve your own intelligence or understand your intelligence better. Um, two things actually uh, that we can speak about very briefly is how you look and how you feel or how you speak rather so how you look dictates uh, a lot of he contrasts like how octopuses use camouflage or the the way that they change colors to uh, show how they're feeling or to provide to give an aggressive signal or a welcoming signal things like this and how they change shape as well so you can contrast that to yourself, like how you, how you look and feel um, is very important to, to, to how you look and feel, man. <laughs> no, I'm making no sense now, but it will make sense. Basically, it's what you're saying is, guys, have a good posture. Um, make sure that you're walking correctly, that you exercise regularly and that you have a, phys a good physical movement in your body. You know, I'm still sick, guys. This whole working out twice a day thing and cold showers has fucked me for over a month now. But we will carry on. We will carry on. I'm not going to do cold showers anymore. But, so that's a side note. Until I get fully better. Um, yeah. How you look, guys, is very important towards how you feel. And how you feel, very important how you look. If you have a straight back, shoulders, um, shoulders back, chest out, it's a much more confidence stance you'll get more co inner confidence and you'll get more power it's a powerful stance um, and how you look 
uh, also determines your mindset, how you're feeling, if you're confident and things. So these things reinforce each other. And it also communicates to other people if you're a welcoming person or are uh, in a bad mood and you should stay away and things like that. So physically, how you, how you look and feel is very important. They contrast that with the octopus here, with how it looks and um, the shapes it makes. And then another thing I've forgotten, I must edit that into this. Yes, yes, I remember now, I remember now. Another thing is how you speak, so how you communicate. So uh, this book speaks a lot about consciousness and subconsciousness. And consciously you guys need to be aware of how you speak, okay. If you, so for me a big thing that I've known for a while now is like every time I hope for something I know it's because I haven't done well enough to. I'm kind of just like oh, I've, I've studied for the test, I hope I get a great result. If you start saying I hope, if you notice you're hoping for things, it probably means you didn't put enough effort into it. So how you speak to yourself is very important. Um, if you say I can't do something, it's, it's better to say I will not do it. It's like one is victim mentality, the other one is you're deciding. So the vocabulary that you use with yourself is very, very important. Uh, what do I have here in my notes? In my notes. Yeah, how you speak to yourself. The, the choice of words, can, can't, will, will not, choose, everything should be almost from a stance, stance of empowerment and that will really help with your mindset and getting you in the right frame of mind. Anyways guys, I hope you find those tips important um, and helpful. If you have tips for me, you can let me know in the comments below. But basically, how you look, how you feel, and how you speak to yourself, very important. And that's all kind of things that you can think about when you, while you're reading this book, and how you can contrast that to Seth, cephalopods. To calamari. Contrast yourself to calamari. And, yeah, I mean, um, Jordan Peterson speaks about, like, shellfish and how they, they make themselves bigger and stand proud and stuff. And that's a sign of power and possession and aggression and things like that and how you can be doing those things. Um, I'm sure some people must know about him. Anyways guys, that's, uh, that's this other Minds done. Next week I uh, will finish up these reviews. We're going to speak about The Brain, A User's Manual. Guys, it's one of my favorite books that I read as well. Not like this one, it wasn't one of my favorites, but um, uh, I'm looking forward to doing that review. So look out for it next week. I'll do it on a Sunday again. Um, and take care of yourselves, beautiful people. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, all of it. Cheers.